Suzanne. Zen. Zen. Oh, that one. Right. Suzanne. Suzanne, I was like, what? Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. All right, someone say go. He's timing. Yeah, Are we ready? Oh, I got it. Oh, do you have the one, two, three, go. Thank you for the opportunity to speak today, Nastiki members. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mike Soldo. I grew up 20 miles west of here. In 1986, I graduated from South Lakes High School in Reston, Virginia. In 1994, I received a PhD in chemistry from UC Berkeley. In 1997, I began to teach chemistry full-time at City College of San Francisco. Having taught chemistry in the U.S. and abroad, I can tell you that City College of San Francisco is a vibrant and vital institution. I love teaching chemistry at City College of San Francisco because of the fantastic students that have since 1935 come to City College of San Francisco from around the world. In my three minutes today, I'd like to tell you about a few of my students. Hosea Nelson was a high school dropout sheet metal worker whose boss told him he was dumb every day when he enrolled in City College of San Francisco in 1999. Hosea transferred to UC Berkeley, received a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemistry, and went on to receive a PhD in Chemistry from Caltech. Today, Hosea is back at UC Berkeley as a postdoctoral fellow with a big National Science Foundation grant. Josh Biddle went to college straight out of high school in Marin County. A year later, he dropped out and went to work on his grandmother's farm. After a few years, in 2006, Josh gave college a second try at City College of San Francisco. He did much better. Transferred to UC Berkeley where he got straight A's, won the university medal, and got to speak at graduation. Today, Josh is a third year medical student at University of California in San Francisco. <laughs> Gina Perez Barron was a secretary at Genentech when she enrolled in City College of San Francisco in 1997. Gina transferred to San Francisco State University and went on to Stanford Medical School. After graduating with honors, Gina founded a clinic in New Mexico to address the unmet health needs of her fellow Native Americans. Nastiki members, I came to speak to you today because the leadership of ACCJC is not doing what they told you they were going to do. The leadership of ACCJC told you they would conduct themselves in a way that would earn the public's trust. They have not. Closing City College of San Francisco is wrong and will undermine the authority of Nastiki by eroding public confidence in our country's system of accreditation. But I'm optimistic that Nasiki will act to prevent ACCJC from closing City College of San Francisco. And in two years' time, this institution that was born of the Great Depression will celebrate its 80th anniversary as a reinvigorated survivor of the Great Recession. Thank you. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Good.